Hey guys, what's up? It's Ryan, and um, I have a pretty cool tutorial for you guys today. Um, a lot of you most likely know what a web form is, and um, I've been looking for so long for like an easy web form because like my website doesn't support PHP, only HTML. So I found a website builder called Jotform, and I was about to give up on making web forms because of how annoying they were to make. But I'm going to show you what one looks like. And this is an H. I know the background. I have to fix it. I just did this. This is an HTML snippet I applied in this square in my iWeb right here. And um, it's all HTML snippet. And it's so easy because all you have to do is go to source code, copy this into the HTML snippet in iWeb. So I'm going to guide you guys through this whole entire thing. So you're going to want to go to jotform.com. The link is in the description. And we're going to want to probably. All right, I'm gonna click on new form, and I'm gonna do blank form. Okay, so now we have a blank form style. We're gonna go into themes, and um, I'm gonna get just find a theme. First, before you put a theme, you should definitely put um, something. So go to setup and embed, and we're gonna want to put in a text box. Like the submit form thing. So you have a text box. Let's add another text box. And um let's see. Here we go, text area. And um submit form button, you can change that however you want. Um you can put a button image. Pretty sure you can do that from a um link, but we're not gonna mess with that right now. Um I'm gonna change the theme because I don't really like this one. So, I'm just going to use the XXL form. So we have our button and everything. I'm going to put that on auto. So, all right. So now our form is pretty much finished. We're going to type in here. We're going to type in name. Here we're going to type in email. And here we're going to type in comments. Okay. So now our form is pretty much completed. Um, under setup and bed, we're gonna go to email alerts. I'm gonna click type in add new email, um, notification email, or autoresponder email. Autoresponder means it'll it's gonna send a confirmation email to the person who fills your form. So whoever fills it out, you get it'll automatically send them something. So we're gonna go to notification email. Okay. Um. Sender name is going to be from their email. The sender email is going to be the yeah it changes the name. And um, form email. Click on that. And this is what it'll look like. So we're going to do test email. I'll just use my email. I sent myself an email. So this is a test email. So it would look like if somebody filled it out. So I'm gonna click finish. And we're gonna go to source code. Copy this one simple code. Then we wanna create a new page. Blank page. Drag in an HTML snippet and type it in there. And there you go. You have your complete web form that functions and everything. So now to test this. And we're going to test it. We're going to go to File, Publish Site Changes, because I already have my website set up. So now it's going to finish publishing. Okay. So we're going to go back to my website. I think it's going to be that blank.html. Okay. So now we have our form. I'm going to type in Ryan. Email is ryan at me.com. Type in hello. And click submit form. You can customize this thank you window. So now it says the email has been sent. And there we go. So um, you could change the question and answer. Um, it says name, ryan, email, ryan at me.com. Comments, love the site. So if you reply to it, it will go back to... Um, I'm not really sure where it goes when you reply to it, 
but that is basically how you make an email with, I mean, a um, web form with JotForm. So that's all. Thank you for watching.